Hey everyone, I was just looking through my articles before I went to bed tonight and I came across this article and I, I just got to share this. You got to see this. There's the headline, of course. Uh, it's Room with a View. Two ex-Vatican hospital officials are charged. Now check this out. On Thursday, the Vatican Tribunal indicted Giuseppe Profitti and the hospital's former treasurer on charges they illegally diverted the money and ordered them to stay in trial. The case answers a key question raised by a recent Associated Press investigation that found that the hospital's mission under Profiti's leadership had been lost and was more aimed at profit than caring for children. Yes, this is another scandal by the Vatican against children. So anyway, the article goes on to say, so where did the money go? It says, according to the indictment, at least 422,000 euro, which equates to $481,000 in donations, to the fundraising foundation of the Bambino Gisu Pediatric Hospital, popularly known as the Pope's Hospital, went instead to renovate the penthouse of Cardinal Tarquisio Bertone, who retired in 2013 as the second most powerful man of the Catholic Church. Now, these men claim to take a vow of poverty when they become priests. And think about this. $481,000 was the cost just to spruce up the penthouse. That means it was worth far more than that. And just so you know, when I was a child, one of my grandmothers cared for priests in a rectory near Chicago. As a boy, my father would take me there so as to visit his mother-in-law with my mom. These priests are not living in poverty at all. Not only was that rectory decked from floor to ceiling with very expensive furnishings, paintings, gold-trimmed statues, crucifixes, candelabras and goblets just to name a few the meals were off the chart because my grandmother was their cook and so we know what she did in the kitchen and what she had to work with i saw with my own eyes meals that were presented to these men that cost more than my entire family would pay to have one meal and i'm one of 11 children and again these were just roman catholic priests they weren't bishops or cardinals this Second most powerful man of the Catholic Church is a cardinal who is also supposed to be an example to his flock as well as to all his priests. And I can't even imagine how much his penthouse was worth if it took $481,000 just to spruce it up. Now for the real sad part. Not only do these men in the Roman Catholic Church terrorize, rape, molest, and even kill these children under their care, they have now decided to steal from them much-needed funds to help heal them in the Pope's hospital, no less. Thank you for watching. God bless.